Well, if you finished all of Netflix during the pandemic, we've got some good news for you. We have a few award-winning films to recommend. The Social Justice Film Festival will stream their best of the fest from Friday to Sunday. I spoke with their executive director, Aurora Martin, and documentary director, Gilda Shepard, about the event. Well, the best of the fest is really a highlight of our regular festival, which occurs every October. We're not quite at the 10 year mark for our Social Justice Film Festival, which is really a compilation of international, national and local films that go from documentary films to feature films to short films to micro short films. But the best of the fest, which is this month, is essentially our prize winning films from 2020. And we're partnering with Northwest Film Forum to actually do the online festival again, because we had to pivot last year in 2020 to actually have a first ever online film festival. And Gilda's Shepherd's film, Since I've Been Down, is the gold top prize winning film for our documentary feature. And so glad to have her with us. Gilda, tell us about your film. It's called Since I've Been Down. Well, since I've been down, uh, spotlights in American City, Tacoma, Washington, that was caught in the frenzies of the 1990s um, policies, three strikes, you're out, hard time uh, for armed crime, and it moves from the 1990s to the present day, and how these policies that label children, children, as young as 11 or younger, as super predators and sacrificing particularly black, brown, and poor children across race lines. And that gave them a kind of non-negotiable pathway to joining gangs as early as 11. Why children commit crime and how these children, now adults, are breaking free from their fate by creating a model of justice. It sounds so layered, so beautiful, and so very timely right now, and so very important. We, we need this. I, I have to ask Aurora, what are some of the issues you're seeing filmmakers uh, present right now? Well, you know, it is very much about what Gilda touched on. They are about criminal justice reform. It is about climate change. It is about environmental justice. It is about women's rights, homelessness, the state of civil rights and racial justice. And it's not just a national American set of issues, but these issues about democracy and hope and really the theme of this year's 2020 film festival theme was transform, another world is possible. And I would have to say that the majority of whom are independent filmmakers many of whom are also first-time filmmakers, mm -hmm. some who are um, youth filmmakers as well because we have a youth film track. They are also uh, sharing stories that otherwise would not be shown in the mainstream. Uh, so they have an opportunity to really come together to actually join this larger um, festival that's really spotlighting, you know, what is social justice, which is a broad umbrella, really. When you were talking about interviewing all these folks from you know, these children who were arrested, who are now adults, victims, officers, how how are you able to do this at a time where in quarantine and lockdown? Yeah. yeah. Well, I was one of the lucky ones. I finished my film in January 2020. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's not happening, right? But I do, I understand, yes, this it becomes a very difficult time for filmmakers. But those of us who have finished our film, you know, having it streamed, like through the Social Justice Film Festival, that gives us more of an opportunity so that folks who, in these times, those people who just go to film festivals, are able, other people are able to see it. I would add that one of the things that has been powerful um, in the ability to pivot, you know, certainly there have been challenges that so many festivals around the world have faced, and that is the in-person cinema and conversation and the transformation and the magical kind of connections that people have to become more aware and yeah. educated. So that kind of barrier of, you know, bringing people together, strangers who otherwise would not know how to kind of like 
know how to know about the issues or anything. And so then when we pivoted online, it actually, in a very interesting way, um, like Gilda was saying, it actually expanded the ability to create community. Well, the Social Justice Film Festival, the best of the fest, streams this weekend, January 22nd to 24th. Please visit our website to get the festival Pay What You Can Pass. Coming up next, we've got more New Day, so stick around.